The immune system of the body is the silent superhero of our existence. It shields us from countless foreign particles, the germs that we encounter every day, working tirelessly to keep us free of disease. However, our brain and eyes actively keep this immune system at a distance. So how do these critical organs remain safe from pathogens? Our eyes are exposed to many foreign particles every day. Unlike other parts of our body, the eyes are almost constantly exposed to the environment, air filled with dust and bacteria, and water simply swimming with pathogens. Furthermore, how often do you rub your eyes with bacteria-coated fingers? The body's natural response to anything foreign is inflammation and increasing the temperature of that area. But this strategy is bad for the human eye. The eye is an extension of the brain, and both organs are primarily composed of neurons, which have a very limited capability to regenerate. Inflammation of eye tissues will hinder vision, while increased temperature will cause tissue damage. Because the eyes can't regenerate like other organs, these immune reactions could affect a person's long-term ability to see. To protect your vision, the human eye enjoys something called immune privilege. Immune privilege is the privilege or license that the body's immune system gives to certain organs, limiting the response of the immune system in those areas. First, the blood eye barrier acts as a guard for the eye. The retina and its blood capillaries form this barrier, which physically restricts immune cells in the blood from entering the eye. The second protective factor relates to lymph, a tissue fluid that contains white blood cells. This fluid drains into the lymphatic tissue, such as your lymph nodes. The eyes, however, are devoid of direct lymphatic drainage, so the immune cells do not come in direct contact with the eye, and consequently, do not come into contact with any pathogens. Finally, there are immunosuppressive molecules, a special type of molecule that limits or suppresses the immune response of the body. Such molecules are abundantly present in the eye. So, if the eye has a three-layer shield against the immune system of the body, how does it protect itself against a bacterium in the air? That's where antibacterial substances like lysozyme come into action. Lysozyme is an antibacterial substance released from the tear glands of your eyes. This is why your eyes become watery right after a dust particle flies into it. As with everything, there is a downside to this immune privilege of the eye. The privilege can easily be circumvented when an excessively strong immune response is encountered. This may leave the previously protected tissue at risk of collateral damage, as its natural defenses are more easily overcome. In normal tissue, the immune system promptly deals with foreign antigens and restores normalcy, but that isn't always the case when it comes to our eyes. In short, the eye may not have a separate immune system, but it does have a different one.